Hello and welcome. It's Tuesday, September the 7th, and this is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Today we continue to read in Genesis chapter 3, and we will be reading verses 9 through 16. Here is the word of the Lord. <clears throat> but the Lord God called to the man, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman you put here with me, she gave me some fruit from the tree, and I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. So the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, cursed are you above all livestock and all wild animals. You will crawl on your belly and you will eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enemy between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head and you will strike his heel. To the woman he said, I will make your pain in childbirth, childbearing very severe. With painful labor you will give birth to children. Your desire will be for your husband, and he will rule over you. And that is the word of the Lord. The article today, written by Joseph Heath, is God's Plan, Grace. Two wrongs don't make a right. In the passage today, we hear a lot of blaming. It's someone else's fault. Look at them, not me. Often we hear this among siblings in a family. Having just one child, our son doesn't have anybody else to blame when something happens. Sometimes he still tries to tell us it's not his fault. Blaming someone else is often our first instinct. God doesn't want to hear our excuses or blaming. He wants to show us his grace and love. He wants to walk with us in the garden. His plan wasn't to pit us against each other or against the things of this world. However, we often choose this world and things in it to make us happy and to satisfy that which only God can fill. God's plan for us, each of us, is not strife, but wholeness and fulfillment. As Christians, we should know that God has a plan and he has our best interest in mind especially in the difficult times of life. When we find ourselves fighting against the world, let us remember God's plan. And the hymn is by Fanny J. Crosby, All the Way My Savior Leads Me. All the way my Savior leads me, what have I to ask beside? Can I doubt his tender mercy, who through life has been my guide? And from the 90th Psalm, verses 1 and 2. Lord, you have been our dwelling place throughout all generations. Before the mountains were born, or you brought forth the whole world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. And that is your daily devotion for Tuesday, September the 7th. Have a blessed day.